Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I am Clementine, and as always, I am Super Saiyan! But never mind that. In a previous video, we removed the ceramic magnets from the back of a set of Stratocaster pickups and installed a set of Alnico slugs which we placed in a vintage staggered configuration to ostensibly save a few hundred bucks and to get that vintage bell-like tone. <laughs> And in the doobly-doo below that video, we received the ever-important viewer suggestion. Troy Thompson said, Al Nico bar under strat coil. And Lou Aguago asked, Al Nico bar sound like Al Nico polis? So, in this video, we're gonna get some pickups and magnets out on the table. We're gonna talk a little bit about the magnets inside of them and the differences between them. We'll use a little bit of educated guesstimation to come up with a couple of different pickup magnet configurations. We'll string up a couple of pedals, Grab an amp and a tube preamp, rip all the guts out of the testing mule guitar, then take it apart and put it back together, over and over and over again. But through the power of YouTube editing magic, what you'll get is a close mic clean little comparison montage. So, if this sounds like something you might be interested in, STAY TUNED! The bean footage, roll it! Alright, let me be Captain Obvious by stating that this is a single coil pickup, it's from a Strat copy. The ear is broken off of this particular pickup, but is only going to be used for visual demonstrations. On a lot of the old vintage and modern high-end single coil pickups, the metal poles inside of the pickup coil are actually rod magnets. Usually these are Alnico magnets, but you're pretty much guaranteed that most uh, cheap pickups from a Strat copy, or even uh, some decent pickups from metric brands, will have a ceramic bar magnet in the back and steel poles. Well, this here is a two-coil humbucker pickup. This happens to be an extremely hot pickup from a Les Paul Jr., but it's basically two single coils stuck together on a brass plate. One has steel pole pieces and the other one has steel screw pole pieces, or possibly nickel. Get to the point, nerd. I already know all this, right? Well, then you probably know that inside of this humbucker is another bar magnet. It's a little thinner and a little wider, but either way, it's in there. There are also humbucker pickups with Alnico magnets. You can tell that these are Alnico magnets from this uh, medium gray color. It's not shiny chrome like a neodymium magnet, and it's not black like a ceramic magnet. So all that we gotta do now is just uh, slap this Alnico humbucker magnet on the back of this single coil pickup, throw it in the guitar, screw it down, pipe it into the amp, and play the hell out of it. Well, we are going to do that but that might not be the best way to do it. For reasons I don't even fully understand. The seller of these Alnico humbucker magnets has drawn a little N on the edge of one of them, and this is to designate that this edge of the pickup is a North Pole. Because apparently humbucker magnets are edge magnetized and single coil magnets are side magnetized. And this is a part I don't truly understand myself, so let's go to a diagram. From what I've been told, a humbucker magnet is edge magnetized. So apparently it's actually the edge of the magnet that would have a north polarity. And the opposite thin edge would have a south polarity. But this makes perfect sense because when you have a coil on each side of this magnet, you need one polarized north and the other polarized south so that they can humbuck and cancel noise. So what about a regular single coil magnet? Those have a north and south pole on the wide flat parts, which makes sense when you're basically placing the flat side of this magnet inside of a pickup coil. So that got me to thinking, what about a neodymium bar magnet? I have a lot of experience with these. I've used these magnets in a regular single coil configuration to good effect. <laughs> But I've also used them in an edge-to-edge -edge configuration on a P90. It also worked wonderfully. I even used three of them in a humbucker, and it rocked. So they can't be flat, but I did something with them that they would work with flat. So is it the edge? I'll truly admit I don't know. They make great pickups though. It seems to me that when you take these humbucker magnets and you place them together on the flat sides, they will stick in one orientation, but you flip them 180 degrees in like a, a Y axis and they repel. So that tells me that the flat side on these is dipole. The ceramic magnets work exactly the same, 
but opposite. So apparently the small edge of these are dipole or something. But when I take these neodymiums and try them against each other, it seems like there is no dipole side. I don't know if this is the case or not, but they've worked good in different configurations of pickups. So I have devised an experiment. So what I'm gonna do is try to take this magnet and put it edgeways on the back of a pickup. See if that makes it sound like an Alnico pickup. I'm also gonna take this humbucker magnet and lay it down flat on the back of the pickup so I can see if being dipole makes any difference. Then I might as well use the edge of a ceramic magnet that's actually made for a single coil pickup sounds like. Then I might as well try it flat too. Normal single coil configuration. For this demo, we'll be coming out of the Testa Mule guitar through a Pig Hog Tartarian plaid cable into a Joyo Vintage Overdrive. From there to a musky Golden Horse Clon clone pedal and an always on digital reverb for a little bit of ambience. Into a tube preamp, a PV solid state full range keyboard amp being close mic'd straight into the computer into Audacity. What I'll do is rip all this junk out of the Tessa Mule guitar, put the first magnet configuration under the pickup. As you can see, this one actually had to be chiseled out to fit, but I'll use these two plastic spacers to make sure that the pickup's in exactly the same position for every demo in which I'll take and show which pedals I'm using, play a riff with each configuration of magnets, move to the next pedal combo, etc etc while in reality i'm actually putting a pickup configuration of the guitar playing three different riffs ripping that out then playing the same three riffs with different pedal combinations starting with a clap to sync the microphone to the video and now through the magic of computer editing let's see how that works reverb only <laughs> Tube Screamer and Reverb. Tube Screamer, Clon, and Reverb.
Well, guys, that just about does it for this video. Well, my takeaway from this is that the dipole side of magnets does not sound very good. Also, the Alnico bar did sound like an Alnico pickup, but only when it was on the edge. The thing is, though, it didn't sound like an Alnico strap pickup with Alnico poles. It sounded more like an Alnico humbucker or an Alnico P90. But the experiments I've done previously let me know that maybe I could do something with a double dipole magnets. But that's another experiment for another day. If you guys have any ideas for an experiment, or a project for a future video put it down in the doobly doo below if you found this video educational or entertaining in any way hit that like button and maybe subscribe i am clementine you have been watching heavy metal atc till